Hello, beautiful beings of light. This is Andrea Lang. Hello. And my name is Elisa Mozal. I am an energy healer and a spiritual mentor. And in this video, I'll be talking exactly about what is the best, the best approach to dealing with the dark night of the soul, to dealing with facing really challenging moments in your life. At the moment, we have a solstice. We have an eclipse and we have a full moon, all of that in a really short period of time. So many people is hit by experiencing really strong energy movement within them and around them. And those who do not know how to deal with that, unfortunately might be really struggling. So we will talk about it. And before the end of the video, you will be perfectly clear what to do it, how to do it, and how to actually even learn from that experience. Uh, we both have many, 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 many Dark Nights of the Soul in the past. Uh, we've both learned from it as much as it is possible uh, to the point that we are helping others. You have a phenomenal group of over 2,000 people who are coming and watching your content every single day and they're benefiting their life is changing their family's life is changing their co-workers life is changing and you have as well a group of higher level of support where right now for the period of 12 weeks you're training people how to entirely manifest their life how to entirely shift their energy um, which is phenomenal which is phenomenal and it all started with you doing mm -hmm. that for yourself Yes, yeah. So, yeah, I was obese. Uh, I was severely codependent. Uh, I hated my job. I was page, paycheck to paycheck. Was not happy with what I was doing. Nothing seemed to be working for me. So I, I was doing therapy. I was doing... I actually went to the Tony Robbins event. I went to... Uh, I did a lot of personal development books. I read all these different personal development books. And nothing was working. Nothing. Mm -hmm. And then I discovered the energy work. I discovered the energy work. And that was the big game changer for me. Healing my energetic signature. So healing it from one of abandonment, not good enough, unworthy absolute hatred for myself mm -hmm. to feeling worthy feeling love unconditional love for myself and for others to healing the deep tra trauma of abandonment in my body and being able to release that and not having to reenact my patterns because I healed the trauma that created the subconscious automatic patterns which kept me keeping the past on the present and then that turning into the future mm -hmm. so it was this it was this it was literally for me it was literally the same relationship it was the same relationship different person but same relationship same thing with the job different job but same job it mm -hmm. still felt miserable it still felt like I didn't want to go. It still felt like it was something I did not want to do. Different job, but same job. Same thing with the with the health. Lose the weight, then gain it all back. Lose the weight, gain it all back. So all the matter to matter stuff, no matter how hard I tried, no matter how hard I tried to push through the matter to matter reality, I kept getting the same outcome, which kept me in the same reality. Mm different situations but same exact reality because I felt the exact same I felt like I did not like my life I felt like I was unhappy I I felt deeply deeply unworthy yet I wanted the financial freedom yet I wanted the amazing relationship yet I wanted the fit body but in my core I felt deeply unworthy mm -hmm. of all of that so no matter what I did matter to matter I still kept ending up on that same timeline that left me feeling the exact same, which allowed me to create the same reality over and over and over again. So when I discovered the energetic work and healed my frequency, healed my energetic signature, mm. 
that's when my entire life shifted. Yeah. And I literally got picked up and put on a whole new timeline. <laughs> a planet. And, and this is exactly how you're beautifully helping so many people to step into their power step into their power and open up to that beautiful healed version of themselves that they already are deep within um but it's a totally different story when we are exactly in this pain when we are in that struggle when we're going through these waves of energy and what i have discovered is that majority of time myself in the past and majority of my clients majority of people i ever work with and people i talk to when they feel this movement of energies especially when we're going through something bigger that it's happening like with nature right right now we have like i mentioned all these three things in a short period of time or we have something big happening worldwide there is big movement of energy collectively and because we are all one and we're all interconnected we will be feeling things we will be sensing things and majority of people picking that up they are unaware of their frame they are unaware of their own inner energy field their own energetic signature so they pick it up wherever is around them like a sponge which contains mostly fear pain lack not good enoughness and often even if we don't feel this way any longer we feel this energy is flowing through us from other people and places around us and unfortunately majority of people is mistaking that energy as their current and present state of being instead of just energy that flows through them um and I'll be honest with you, you know, every one of us is sensing energy more or less. Now, the number one thing that helped me and it helps majority of people that, that I spoke with, that I work with, is to becoming entirely present and aware of what's going on without being attached. So if in your case, by any chance, you are going through feeling, through experiencing, this massive energy movement running through you and around you the most important thing is to remember that you are not your thoughts and your emotions you are something much 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 bigger and if you will look at any type of beliefs that you have or open yourself up to any understanding you have to agree with me that in one way or another you come from source so we cannot just identify yourself with this present thought it is time for all of us to step up, step away from believing in every thought and emotion that comes or runs through our heads. So when you feel this excruciating internal pain, this is the most beautiful opportunity to stay present and instead of conditioned behavior, which is run away to drink, alcohol, sex, money, porn, food, uh, TV, whatever else it is, gossiping about Jenny or John being this and that, instead of doing all of that that is outside of us and it takes our attention away, or listening to that mind, telling us the same old story, you're not good enough, you are not worthy, you are never going to get away from that workplace, whatever it is, sitting with those feelings and emotions is a magnetic and very beautiful action in itself because instead of running away you're all of a sudden facing that energy and you allow it to flow through you um, and you know the most of the time what I talk about over here is love and it is light and doing video like that is only divinely guided and driven and it isn't what I do most of the time most of the time we talk about transmuting this energy we talk about love we talk about light frequency we talk about high frequency energies yet those lower energies are a spectrum of the rainbow they are the spectrum of the light what i've done in the past is that i got hooked on those lower energies and this subject and it consumed my whole attention to the point i was unable unable to step up permanently out of that frequency i was constantly circling back because that's where my focus was going but there is time and place for everything there is time and place to face that which you've been running away all your life and if it's too difficult for you to sit with yourself and do it on your own hire help find a tribe 
there is thousands and thousands and thousands of coaches spiritual mentors help and support tribes that they help you go through that process equip you with a spiritual tools so it's all about moving that pride and ego on the side loving yourself enough to take action and ask for help and invest in yourself the more you will invest in yourself the more you will get out of it when your mind is gonna convince you no no that's too expensive no no that takes too much time hell no i cannot love myself that much and look into the mirror and tell myself i love myself this is your old mind being still in charge and that's okay there is no judgment there but yet there is time and place for everything there is time and place to move up as well to move away from those feelings and emotions and not get hooked on them process them acknowledge them allow them to flow through you and out of you and love yourself enough to create space for a new experience like totally entire new experience we just all of a sudden decided okay let's let's pack our bags let's go away to another place let's see uh, let's have a new experience let's have new energies let's feel new shift of energies i was feeling a little bit a little bit like i needed to move my energies and cleanse whatever is going on and um there is absolutely nothing wrong with all of a sudden changing your mind and it is actually even we often quite often suggest especially to our clients to when you have that heart driven new thought new idea go for it follow it don't allow don't allow your analytical mind to hold you back and back it away and that works for us and many others really 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 well what would you say would be the most valuable advice in few words um to process that mm -hmm. dark night of the soul and shift to it because you know what you know what happens through these through these few days and many people would say we're we're early in relationship and all of that and but this this is the time when i'm truly realizing okay i'm definitely not my best there's no way i'm my best there is no way of denying i'm definitely not my best i'm definitely not entirely my new self yet we're coming out of that stronger than ever before and it's like a proof is in the pudding that's the saying from britain that i got the proof is in the pudding and what i got out of it is is that unconditional love that mm -hmm. unconditional love you mentioned at the beginning when was it at the morning and the morning, yeah, I started journaling and I just felt like, wow, yeah, I'm not loved for being the best version of myself. I'm loved unconditionally for who I am on my good day and on my not the best good day. And there is always, there is always a lesson in all of it. What would you say would be the best, in few words, advice for processing the dark night of the soul or going through it? Yeah, the, the dark night of the soul is, it is the awakening. So you have to go through this dark night of the soul to awaken, to start questioning the mind-made identity. Hmm. So the dark night of the soul allows us to question the mind-made identity. And you have to ask yourself, who is doing the questioning? Who's doing the questioning? Who's questioning mm. the thoughts? Who's questioning the emotions? Who's doing the questioning? So there's there's the questioner, then there's the the so there's the person that you're questioning, then there's the questioner. So there's there's two here. So which one is the authentic self? Well, that's the dark night of the soul. When you start to realize Wait a minute. <laughs> this this isn't me. Yeah, someone has been lying to me. Yeah, so who who is this? Like, where are these thoughts coming from? Who is this? Who is this person acting, responding? Now, the, the authentic self is the person, is the one who's doing the questioning. That's the authentic self. And that's the observer, the observer self. 
And that's who you truly are. That's the, that's the real self. Mm. So going through it and just being aware of the process, just knowing that there's an observation here of, uh, of something is that space. Mm. And having that space is the awakening. Because if we can yeah. have space between you and it, well, then you know that it's not you. You know mm. that it's, it's something separate from you. It's not you. It's separate. There's space between you and it. Creating that gap. Mm -hmm. Creating that gap of presence. This is huge because when we stay present with, with ourselves and whatever it is we've been running away, which is usually a lie, just a stuck energy just simply wants to move through. But we've never been shown how to deal with it. We've never been shown how to be with ourselves. We've never been shown how to love unconditionally. Well, most of us didn't. I didn't for sure. First time I experienced it in my 30s, right? So this is big because it creates the gap, it creates the opening, and creates that space between one and another. And the truth and the light shines exactly through that. Is there anything else you would like to add? Um, yeah, if you're going through some emotions that are heavy or dense, or maybe you're going through some suffering, some pain, maybe there's been a loss... Maybe there's been a loss of a relationship, a loss of a job, a loss of health. Now the loss is the opportunity. The, the loss is the opportunity for the awakening. And there's people in India right now that purposely put themselves in a state of suffering to have this awakening. Mm. So if you're going through something that feels heavy, that has to do with loss. Use that to allow yourself to question who that self is. And who is, who is this happening to? Who, who is the loss happening to? Who is it happening to? Because the truth is, is there really is no you. Your energy, your, your particles that are popping in and out of existence so fast that you appear to be still. So who is, who is you? Who is the loss happening to? Because if you're popping in and out of existence so fast that you appear to be still, well then there really is no you. And if you can look just observe that. Just observe that. And that allows you to go even deeper. Mm. And it allows you to realize there really is no me. It's all a mind-made concept. And the loss, whatever it is, loss of health, relationship, job, gives us space between a mind-made self and the observer because when we lose whatever the mind made, made self created then that allows us that's an opening there there's an opening there for us to awaken and to realize that oh I wasn't a welder I wasn't a banker I wasn't a doctor I wasn't a teacher that's all labels mind made concepts and that's not the true self that's not the authentic self so a loss is an opportunity for us to realize that we're something much more than a label a relationship a status uh, anything like that yeah mm -hmm. that's beautiful thank you thank you thank you usually usually we we jump from one way to another to avoid Usually we jump because this is what we've been conditioned. And we've been conditioned as well since day one to own that name, to own that label, to own, you know, to watch how you're crossing the street. We've been conditioned to be very much 3D matter focused. 3D matter focused. And everything that outside of us is real and supposed to make us happy if it is exactly the way 
it's supposed to be according to my book of terms and conditions that my parents gave me and they conditioned into me through their own way of being and there is n there is nothing wrong with doing that it's generation through generation we are actually through being present releasing thousands of years of conditioning uh, and I really like what you said about people in India do that because I know that people all over the world they do that they put themselves in a situation that is gonna trigger them entirely to watch and observe that also the old self um, that it's still somewhere inside of them clinging um, and I definitely have still a lot to da uh, write about a lot to write about to journal for myself that I have been experiencing the last few days because it is another beautiful opportunity for me to become more free and the thing is that there's one guy that said something really beautiful uh, in his recovery journey saying constantly anytime he would be sharing how free do you want to be how free do you want to be how free do you want to be because we usually set this level we usually set this level if i'm gonna go there i'm all good i don't need to go do anything else but then then the soul expands constantly the internal experience constantly craves for more because that's how it has been designed so when we are finally fitting that box all of a sudden it is too small all of a sudden it is too small for that for that soul it is too small it 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 requires another experience bigger experience and getting outside of that box i think we said enough unless there's something else you want to add <laughs> no i think that's yeah it. yeah so we're going to finish with that and if any one of you struggle and suffer in any way shape and form you feel yourself like you've got enough of feeling this way i'm going to very strongly encourage you to take action to take action because nothing changes if nothing changes if we keep on waking up the same way and doing the same things that we've done the day before, we cannot fool ourselves any longer by just hoping that things will change. You've got to take a serious action, lots of action, especially based on advice of someone who overcame the stuff you're trying to overcome. Join a tribe. I will link here and to group. We have an amazing meditation going on tomorrow which is strawberry new moon manifesting meditation. We're doing that in the group with about 50 people who have coherent open hearts. And we're going through magnificent experiences over there. So join us, be sure to join us, uh, join the group, get into the group, request access to the group, answer a few questions. Join us tomorrow, 4 p.m. EST time. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it will be amazing to have you there. And I'm going to strongly again encourage you to take action, action, action. Meditate as much as you possibly can, two, three, four hours, as much as you can. I kid you not, 15 minutes is no longer enough for anyone since the beginning of 2020. Breath work, it's an absolute must. Love yourself as much as you can. Take action by investing in yourself. Join the tribe. You have to be surrounded by the tribe doesn't matter is it online or physical most of it it's online and open yourself up allow your heart to start shining through stronger and brighter than than conditioned way of being and follow always follow that heart driven guidance you feel passion for someone follow them search everything about them listen to them do everything they tell you to do just go for it go for it entirely if you're gonna be keep on having yourself reserved you're never gonna go forward you will be kind of fooling yourself you're going somewhere but um yeah uh, i'm going to wish all of you absolutely all the best and please comment below what was the most valuable for you from that video let's see who do we have here hi maranda it's amazing to have you here michael jocelyn yes Hi, Terezija. It's amazing to see you again. Hi, Elena. Elena says, thank you both for this meaningful talk. I love watching your videos. Thank you. It's amazing to have you. We appreciate you so much. Jocelyn, thank you for this clarity. Thank you so much. Hi, Nash. Hello, everyone. Okay, guys, we're going to finish with that and we will see you all 
action takers, doers, and open heart driven magnificent beings of light tomorrow. Mwah. Lots of love.